it off with a civic reception. Nick Collins was there. Maidstone High Street had never seen anything like it as hundreds of fans gathered outside the town hall to await their footballing heroes. The team, meanwhile, were touring through the streets on an open-top bus to celebrate their achievement in winning league status. Well, it's very exciting and it's, uh, we can judge the level of support of the town by seeing how many people come out to, to greet us and uh, hopefully the council will also see how many people are supporting the club and it will all help towards building our future. Ironically, the team bus went right past their old ground, now an MFI warehouse. But nothing could put a dampener on Maidstone's day and if the response on the outskirts had been warm, then the reception in the high street was red hot. Well, it's, it's fantastic. It's very difficult to get over the no noise, uh, but it's the best bus ride we've had for a long time. Everybody's delighted. For the players, it was a rare glimpse of stardom. The side without a ground had finally come home and fans of all ages were determined to enjoy the occasion. Outside the town hall, the message from the mayor the club had been waiting for. You're the one that's done it, so now Maidstone's got to provide something for you, haven't you? Yeah. And I give you this promise, we'll do our level best to find whatever we can for you that's right and proper for you now. A silver salvo was presented by the council to mark Maidstone's promotion to Division 4 and then it was on with the backslapping. For Maidstone United Football Club, hip hip! Hip hip! 